Hello Aquariuses, welcome to your love reading for November 2021. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Let's see what you have going on. Love for Aquariuses, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine through your messages? Aquarius, please, for love. November 2021 and the period surrounding it. What do you see? What were the energies prior to November 2021 in regards to love? We have the Ten of Swords in the upright. Also, make sure you click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling in that spread. I will also have something you do not know about them. In addition to if they're interested in or seeing somebody else, we have the Five of Swords in the upright for energies in November. Make sure you put your requests for your Sun Moon readings. 2022 Sun Moon readings in my comments. Yes, I'm seeing them. Yes, I'm slow. I have an injured hand. I have COVID. I have a life. Um, <laughs> so I'm a little bit behind, but just be patient. Um, you can check out your 2021 sun moon readings that are in my playlist. That's a good way to pass the time while you're waiting. Um, also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, or donate. We end on the star card in reverse, which is your card as you move out of, um, out of November into December. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, things aren't looking all that great, but we're going to kind of get through them. We haven't pulled clarifiers yet, and there's lessons to be had from everything. So the Ten of Swords in the upright indicates an ending, a major ending that happened prior to November 2021. Um, probably not the prettiest thing in the world. The Ten of Swords is usually when something ends, and it wasn't pleasant. It was very painful. It was maybe you weren't expecting it. Um, it's really rock bottom. It's feeling as though you know really helpless really powerless nothing you can kind of do about it um and it's a really really dark time so it can also indicate betrayal i mean here's this guy lying there with all these swords kind of like he's impaled with so that's not the most pleasant sensation either so you could feel as though somebody stabbed you 10 times um so it really is kind of a gut-wrenching sort of ending but in November, I see um, whatever this was, you're crossing swords with somebody. So I don't feel like it's, it ended, totally ended. I mean, I think it ended prior to November, but I feel like you guys still have stuff to fight about um, or fight over. Um, Five of Swords the Upright is usually the fight to be right. It's, it's really having, um, you know, these... these words kind of thrown at each other that just kind of pierce each other and slice each other and the other person wants to win no matter what um you know it, it's it, it's huge conflict disagreements tension i mean you know just everything um you have to be careful that pride doesn't get involved arrogance doesn't get involved because a lot of times that kind of gets involved um and then you know somebody kind of, kind of wants to defeat the other person by any means necessary so they're going to use less than um less than uh, classy or favorable tactics to try to um sort of make that happen you know whether it's sabotaging somebody or you know um you know doing something behind their back or um whatever but it really is kind of cross crossing swords and and you know being ready to have a duel with somebody I mean look at this guy not only is he is his ripped abs abs going on but he's ready he's like hey what's up I'm ready to I'm ready to fight you you know what do you have so I, I do feel that even though it's over here there's still some some things that um you and this other person kind of need to hash out um since we have the star card in reverse as you move out of November into December, this kind of says that um, you've kind of argued about everything there is to argue about. You've talked about everything there is to talk about. You've fought about everything there is to fight about. And I think that you have resigned yourself to realizing that there, there's nothing left here, okay? Star card in reverse is when you just realize there is way too much crap in a relationship, challenges, baggage, um, you know, obstacles, everything is just impossible. So so I feel like at this point you realize defeat, you realize there's, you know, no way this is going to happen. There may be a sadness, you may be, you know, a little depressed because of this, um, because you feel that you failed, but yes, this is losing hope, losing faith, um, and, and hopefully realizing that, you know, it's time to move on from this, okay? So, um let's pull some clarifiers. I'm like, yeah, after all that, let's pull some clarifiers. Why is this Ten of Swords here in the upright for Aquarius? Who's this person? What's this energy? Sun card in the upright. 
King of Wands in the reversed. And the Queen of Wands in reversed. Okay, now I you know some of you are like, yay, Sun card. I'm not getting that from this. Um, sun card, what I'm getting is something came to light. Okay, so something was just thrown out there. Something that had been hidden prior. So I feel like a light got shown on it. Um, there's there's nothing else to hide. It was like, here it is. Here's kind of what's going on. Um, somebody could have just been totally honest and forthright in regards to something. Um, somebody could have, um, you know, found something out um, somebody or somebody just revealed something and, and is tired of kind of um, you know hiding in the darkness and is like here I did this you know I just want it out on the table and with the king of king of wands and the queen of wands in reverse this kind of leads me to believe that this was the the end for this coupledom um so to speak i mean obviously we have a couple here queen of wands king of wands but they're in reverse so they're in their worst uh natures <laughs> when they're in reverse so i feel as though you know that's when the scrap um, where the beginning of the scrap starts to happen. Um, so, you know, you have one energy here um, with the King of Wands. I mean, whoever these energies are, um, you are the other person, but you have this one energy who is pretty much like, um, you know what, this is how it is. I don't care what you say. Um, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Really angry, really dominating, overbearing, controlling. Um, you have that. And then you have this other person, whether it's you or the other person, that is pissed off, <laughs> resentful, angry, being really really, you know, petty about what went on, um, being pushy. So I just feel these two energies like grinding up on each other with a lot of tension, um, a lot of disagreements and what have you because of whatever came to light. And I do believe it might have been a betrayal of some sort because we're going back to the Ten of Swords um, or Ten Swords in this guy. So um, it might not be something they did once. It might have been something they did over and over and over and over again. Okay. Um, so that's why you guys are pretty much just, I just get like two people that are just going at it um, in November. Um, although it's funny because that guy in that Five of Swords upright is like, come at me, bro. He's like, come at me, bro. Like... <laughs> He's like a broski. That's what he kind of looks like. So, I mean, it might be you on the defensive. It might be the other person on the defensive. Um, so I have the Ace of Wands here in reverse. I mean, in the upright, sorry. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The World card in reverse. Um, so one of the parties is pretty much really excited about something and wants to get a move on. It could be a, uh, a new romance, just moving on to something else. Um, they're really excited about it. So... Um, I feel that that's kind of going on there and that's one one thing that is causing the trigger that one person's like yay I'm just gonna move on to you know whatever I'm gonna be happy I'm so excited you know and the other person's like wait what maybe it's the bro in this picture I don't know um, so the six of pentacles along with the uh, six of pentacles in reverse along with the world card in reverse is an indication to me that the other person is like uh not quite yet you're not leaving quite yet because <laughs> this person hasn't gotten their clothes they haven't got the answers that they've needed. They still feel like they're owed something with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's kind of like, wait a minute, you just like took everything. You didn't give, every, give everything back. You're selfish as hell, so you're not walking out the door quite yet. You're going to give me kind of what I deserve from this. Um, same thing with the World card in reverse. I'm getting, hey, we're not leaving it like this. There's the, I don't have any closure. I don't have any answers. Um, you know, everything is just kind of up in the air. Something is missing. It's not making sense to me. So I think that's where where the um, the clashing of the sword starts to happen and real arguments start to happen. Um, why is the star card here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, so I think it's kind of good that you move when you've kind of like you know exhausted everything. Like I said, all the fights, all the arguments, and what have you. Um, you kind of turn a page. I mean, I feel like you have to kind of get to something. You have to have something happen before you get to some other place, obviously. So with the Queen of Cups, or the Queen of Chalices in the upright, Queen of Cups in the upright, um, she's looking at a chalice. But I, I feel as though, you know, you're saying to yourself, okay, it's time for me to kind of work on my wounds that I have. Um, you know, after all is said and done, you're deciding I need self-love. I need to cherish myself. I need to nurture myself. I need to really kind of take care of myself. You know, I mean the world to myself. 
and I need to put energies into that. So I think, you know, after you realize all has, all has um, happened, um, you're turning the energies inward and saying, you know what, I need to, I need to, I've been through a lot. I need to take care of myself. Um, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, to, to me, this is, th that's a real stubborn energy. Um, I'm not getting it. Um, I'm not getting it from you. I feel like the other person is just like, they're not going to, they're not going to move out of their position. And I feel like you've hit it from every single angle and you're coming to this realization that they're just kind of stuck where they are and they're stuck in their opinions and, and what they're going to do. And they're not going to believe anything. Otherwise I, I get almost like the King of Wands vibe back here. Um, so you're coming to that realization, which is kind of having you realize it's over, right? The fat lady has sung and the Hierophant and the Upright, is a card of Taurus, but I feel like that is you having become a wiser being because of this. Um, I feel as though you say to yourself, okay, I'm wiser, more knowledgeable because of this, because that's really what the Hierophant's about. It's a learning experience, you know? And as you move forward, you're saying to yourself, I need to find my person that I'm supposed to be with, my person that I'm supposed to commit to. This is not my person. They are not like-minded. You know, um, I think you found out a lot of stuff about them, um, maybe in a really bad way to realize that, um, you know, th this isn't the person that you're supposed to be having, um, you know, a one-on-one -on -one connection with. So, I mean, some realizations come out of it. It's not the best story, but something does good, good does come out of it. So that's what I have for you at this time. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM, of course, so we can set that up. Click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll have if they're seeing somebody or interested in somebody else. Um, also, something you do not know about them. Put your uh, requests up in the comments for 2022 sun moon readings. Yes, I am seeing them all. I'm injured. I have COVID also. Oh, excuse me. So I'm a little bit behind on that, but I will get to them. Um, 2021 sun moon predictions are still in my playlist. Be sure to check those out. Of course, we have to look at that card, right? Oh, bazoom, the tower card. Okay, uh, this is just an indication to me, pretty much of what we talked about, that there's just gonna be like a grand blow up. Don't resist the change, this has to happen, okay? So you may not like it while it's going on, um, you just need to get to the other side of it um, because um, you can't hold this thing together at all. And I'm feeling like the sooner that you release it and realize that it's meant to let go, the sooner it's going to make sense to you. Um, where was I? Okay. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, Aquariuses, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.